Hi, this is Dewey McLean. Today we're going to discuss African Americans and diabetes at www.stopblackamericanhealth.net. African Americans and Hispanic Latino Americans, American Indians, Asian Americans, and Pacific Island Americans are at particular high risk for type 2 diabetes. In addition, gestational diabetes occurs more frequently in African Americans, Hispanic Latino Americans, and American Indians than any other group. Diabetes can indeed run in the family, meaning that heredity often makes someone more likely to develop diabetes. Researchers believe that certain genes affecting immune response can play a role in the development of type 1 diabetes. While genes affecting insulin function can contribute to the development of type 2 diabetes, while African Americans, Hispanic, Latino Americans, American Indians, and Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders have slightly lower rates than type 1 diabetes. They are all at a higher risk for type 2 diabetes than the rest of the population. Many researchers think that some African Americans inherited a thrifty gene which helped their ancestors store food energy better during times when food was plentiful to survive during times when food was scarce. Now, the feast or famine situation rarely occurs for most people in the United States. The gene which was once helpful may now put these groups at higher risk for type 2 diabetes. In addition, poverty, lack of access to health care, cultural attitudes and behaviors are barriers to preventive and diabetes management care for some minority Americans. Learn more about how nitric oxide can reduce the risk of diabetes at www dot blackamericanhealth dot net